God message for you today. God extends his invitation to hear his message from Romans 9:11:13. For the children being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil, that the purpose of God according to election might stand, not of works, but of him that calleth. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. Reflect on the divine purpose behind his election, not based on human merit, but on his sovereign calling. Contemplate the depth of his love for Jacob and the complexity of his relationship with Esau. Consider the mysteries of divine providence and the unfathomable ways of God's sovereignty. Through these verses, God reveals his authority and wisdom, urging us to trust in his plans even when they surpass our understanding. Let us heed his call and seek his guidance as we navigate the intricacies of his divine will. How is it that God demonstrated love towards Jacob and hatred towards Esau? You never see one time God disciplining and chastening Esau when he sinned and disobeyed God. Never once. But you see God beating Jacob every day of his life. Jacob couldn't get away with sin. God chastised him every time. God purposed to clean, change, and mold Jacob's heart through chastening and to leave Esau to his own perverseness. It shows God's eternal and undeserved love of the one and his just and righteous hatred of the other. When Jacob came back into the land of Canaan, Esau was so prosperous that he had no need of any wealth from Jacob. But Jacob was limping and broken and had a new name, Israel. Why? Because God disciplines only his children. For it is written, My son, despise not the chastening of the Lord neither be weary of his correction. For whom the Lord loveth, he correcteth, even as a father the son in whom he delighteth. Proverbs 3, 11 to 12. And ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto children. My son, despise not thou the chastening of the Lord, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth, and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. If ye endure chastening, God dealeth with you as with sons. For what son is he whom the Father chasteneth not? But if ye be without chastisement, whereof all are partakers, then are ye bastards, and not sons. Hebrews 12, 5, 8. Dear child of God, please share this message with your loved one. God bless you.